We're back. It's been ages since we made a video, and Alex is now massive, as you can see. Massive, aren't you? Massive and old. A lot's changed, isn't it, Alex? A lot has changed. He's eating real food now, moving around, rolling over, making a lot of noises. A lot, a lot of noises. Sleeping in his own room, and yeah, just growing up on these stuff. Anyway, we're back with a new video, and it's not going to be a vlog, it's going to be a baby shopping list. Alright, first thing then, hiccup then. It's going to be a baby shopping list because we have had some experience, obviously. Um, <laughs> tried out a lot of new stuff, and uh, a lot of stuff's worked for us and hasn't worked for us, so we thought we'd let you know, inform you if you're going to have a baby. Um, obviously, it won't work for everyone, but it's what worked for us. And, we thought it would definitely be useful if uh, we let you know what it was. So what we're going to start with is nappies. Very important for a baby. We have used, for the most part, Mamia, which is Audi's brand. Audi, the supermarket. They are so, so, so cheap. And honestly, they're like... But they're not, they're not, we don't buy them because they're cheap. Well, it's, it's obviously a factor, but they're actually a better quality than a lot of other nappies, we tried like Pampers, Boots, Boots are good. Pampers, I feel like they're overrated, I'm not going to like go bad enough in any other. And brands and stuff, but no, honestly, they are really good. They actually won Mother and Baby, Gold Award, as you can see. Um, but we got loads and loads of these when Audi had one of their special buy events. They do like baby special buy stuff. And I think we bought something like, Thousand wipes for like six quid, which is very cheap. Special by then we bought so much stuff, and it's keeping you going, isn't it? But yeah, no, Audi, Audi do really, really good baby stuff, so I definitely recommend their nappies and their wipes. Next, I'm gonna tell you about our feeding situation we had with Alex. We started off with Tommy Tiffy, just a normal bottle, literally like the, the bottle that. Um, tea and lip. Uh, we started off with these because it was just, I don't know, sort of like the brand you think of Tommy Tiffy when you think of first five bottles. First brand that sort of comes to mind, Tommy Tiffy. And we used them for probably two or three weeks. And Alex was getting really, really bad wind. We were noticing sort of like when he's sucking them, you can actually hear the wind going through it. You can hear him like taking it all in with the milk and uh, they weren't working out for him. And I spoke to a friend who also had a young child and baby, and he said they were using Dr. Brown's, which are these. And as you can see, inside they have this straw mechanism. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not honestly entirely sure how it works. They have these inside and they seem to really, really reduce the amount of wind Alex was getting. Um, and you can actually hear when you're sucking it, you, you don't hear the wind coming through these. And they were really, really good. Uh, you get different teeth as well, like the end of it gets bigger and smaller, um, how much milk they need, how old they are. And he's doubling it down really fast now. He's like half an hour drinking now, he does it in like five minutes. Bottles, if you're having problems with uh, wind and stuff, definitely try Dr. Brown's because they worked really, really well for us. We, um, we first started sterilising using the microwave method. Literally, you just put everything in a big plastic container, you microwave it, and all the steam comes up and sterilise the bottles. It was quite an intensive process, and you never really wanted to microwave one at a time, so it was just, it wasn't really working for us. Stevie's mum recommended these Milton tablets. They are sterilising tablets. You literally fill up a large container with water, you drop uh, tablet in, it dissolves and then the water becomes like sterilising water. So the water is sterile for 24 hours and um, you just drop the bottles in where, when you need to in all parts of them. You just put them in, uh, they take 15 minutes to sterilise. They take 15 minutes to sterilise and then once they're sterilised they stay sterile for 24 hours as long as you uh, keep them screwed together. But um, it's, it's a much more efficient way of doing it and you can do it how when you please. Just needs to change the water every day. Next up, we have um, how we feed Alex. And um, Alex is a bottle fed baby. As for feeding, when we're out and about, we use these 
Cal and Gabe little bottles are really, really good because you just you pour them into the bottle and they drink it straight away. And he's eyeing it out. <laughs> Even though you just say he's still eyeing it out. But he's learned what his milk is, it's good to come in. It's easy, it's exciting. But yeah, we use these around about because they're so convenient. And then at home we have the Tony Tippy Perfect Prep Machine, which is uh, life changing. Like I used to have like 15 minutes on the bottle, but now it takes like one minute. Literally press two buttons, put um, powder in, and your bottle's made. So this is the machine, it is so so simple to use. You put the water in there, choose as many ounces you want, press the button, put the powder in, and you're good to go. One thing that comes along with feeding is muslins. Muslins are just rags which you wipe, wipe them up with when they're really uh, dribbling everywhere. But we go through it's not so bad now, but like up to like four months, we went through ten muslins a day. And like when we when he was first born, we had like a pack of four, and we were like, yeah, this will be enough. We used like you know, one every day, and wash them, and then come back out. And like muslins, we probably have about fifty muslins now. And he does not struggle to get through them. So make sure you get loads and loads of muslins because you, your baby will be missing. Right, baby had to take care of Alex because he will Next thing is bathing. This is the baby bath we use for the first month, and it, they're quite inconvenient because you have to fill them up from the tap. It's a bit of a struggle, and then where do you take it? And you're like sloshing around with water, and you spill it everywhere. So. Baby baths are not ideal. We have this alternative. It's a seat, a seat, and it's like go straight through it. Don't go straight through it. Water goes straight through it. Uh, the baby sit in it, and you actually put it in the bath, in the big bath, fill up the bath like halfway, and they just sit in it, and you just bathe them in it, and it's much, much better than than a baby bath. Just put it in the bath rather than having to fill up a little bath in a big bath, and just try and remove them in the litter bath and they just sit in here and they well Alex enjoys it and definitely recommend this seat I'm sure it's cool. Angel care bath support. Angel care bath support. Good good bathing. Right sleeping. Sleeping Alex has always from a very young age slept in the sleepy head. Um really 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 good. It's it, it stops babies from like moving around too much because obviously it's got the uh, ring around them. I suppose they feel quite safe in it because they feel like they're being cuddled almost. You can use it for co-sleeping which is good when they don't want to be away from you. Put it next to you, it stops them rolling out, it stops you rolling onto them quite importantly. But uh, yeah we definitely definitely recommend sleep here. We actually still use it, we put it inside his cot. He's in his own room now so we put it in his cot he sleeps in this in his cot. And uh, it works really really well. But yeah, sleepy head is must for us. Something that was really really important to us which we didn't realise was going to be is having a car chair which is compatible with your pram because if you're going out somewhere quickly like to the supermarket or just nipping into town or something the process of taking them out of the car chair and putting them into the pram chair can be quite stressful so it's so 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 convenient to just pick this up clip it onto the wheels and you're done you're walking away. Yeah, definitely make sure your car chair clips onto your pram wheels. For these to entertain them, we've got these little rabbits and they literally like revolutionised how he behaves in the car or in the chair. It's something we want to focus on because they def they really do need entertaining. Alex has got so many toys which he can Sometimes he likes this little monkey which you saw it was earlier. Sometimes he like wrestles this rabbit He's got these dinosaurs which he likes too, but yeah, toys, it, it might sound obvious, maybe not. But when they are young, even from a very young age, they need toys to entertain them because otherwise they'll, they'll get bored and they'll get restless and they will cry. One uh, thing we found really useful with clothing was, Alex was about seven and a half pounds when he was born, so he wasn't, wasn't big and he wasn't small, he was very average. Newborn clothes fitted in well, but like two weeks, but next in M&S we found do a size up to one month, which is really, really like convenient because it fits on their newborn and they probably do wear up to like two months. So instead of buying a load of newborn clothes, which they'll wear for 
couple of weeks, I would definitely say look for up to one month. It's a much more practical size. You've got to remember, babies will be sick, so you, you will need a lot of clothes. You'll need to change them a lot. And you, you don't, you don't want to waste loads of money on clothes that they're not going to wear or they're going to wear once. So, think about size things. Um, yeah, up to one month is a very good size. We have got the bugaboo comedian, Pram. Um, which is a good pram, very good pram. Uh, Fee, what do you what do you think of it? Why do you think it's a good pram? Yeah, well it's the second one we have, but um, I think it's really good because it's got separate seat to um, the naval like carry pot thing, and um, some of the ones that are jacked are very flat. And it's sort of yeah, just you, really yeah, flat. you almost fell out of the little one. Yeah, it's very, <laughs> not 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 literally, but. <laughs> It so wasn't so comfortable. He can sit much nicer than this because it's an actual seat as opposed to just the old base of the carry pot adapter. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly loves it. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah, now he, he does he does like this one yeah. better. So definitely try your pram out in the shop before you buy it. Would you agree? Would you agree? Yeah, you would agree, wouldn't you? That was our baby shopping list, do's and don'ts. Uh, you don't want to finish it? Okay, carry on. That was our baby shopping list, do's and don'ts. Um, we hope they can help you. Obviously it's the stuff that works for us, it may not work for everyone, but... Um, <laughs> Try to eat everything now, literally. Anything gets hands on. As I said, yeah, it worked for us. It may not work for everyone. We hope it does. And we hope it helps you. Um, I am definitely, definitely not going to leave it so long to make another video. I've just been so busy. And, um, just that time to do anything. But, yeah. We, uh, we'll be back soon with another video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like it, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.